Hello Sagittarius, thank you for joining me for your love reading for April 2024. As always, please do keep in mind that this is a general reading, so all of the messages are not necessarily going to resonate just for you. So you only take what is yours and leave what isn't for someone else, okay? Right, so your first card out is Aquarius. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or you could have strong Aquarius placements in your own chart. You have the Sun energy and Venus with Pluto. So you could also be dealing with a Leo, a Libra, a Taurus or a Scorpio. So this energy would indicate to me, Sagittarius, that... There are feelings being magnified. With the energy of Pluto being the overall energy, this is frozen fire. This is about transformation, obsessions, power. This could un indicate some kind of unavoidable change or finding freedom from confining mindsets. This can be about taboos. There could be a relationship here or a partnership that deals with taboos or is somewhat taboo. You could be from completely different religious backgrounds or spiritual beliefs or something like that. There's some kind of a taboo that's being dealt with within a relationship. Your Venus energy, that's the planet of love, beauty, art, relationships, attraction. This is all about what you value, what you love your possessions or your ideals. This is someone having their ideals being challenged here. So there seems to be an issue, something that goes against the grain with Aquarius energy. Aquarius calls to do things differently and to be a rebel, to go against the grain, to think outside the box. That's all Aquarius energy. This can indicate someone longing for some kind of communication, reassurance also. This can be self-evaluation, especially with the sun, where the sun deals with self, main concerns. This is a source of energy. This can indicate fertility, personal growth, fertility. This can be about paternal figures. This can indicate feelings of authority, Maybe someone's authority is what's being challenged here. This can be about the ego, the inner self, a vital force, staying power. Someone figuring out who they are because they're being challenged by some kind of taboo within a relationship, within a connection. What else for Sagittarius, please? What is in Sagittarius' love energies, please? Sagittarius love. So here you have the onion energy, Sagittarius. This is a card of sustenance. This can indicate having plenty, being enough. This indicates a harvest. You could be coming into a harvest. You could be coming into good luck and good fortune. The onion is a gift. It indicates that someone has a good heart and that is a gift to another. This is finding opportunities in an unpromising place. This is someone trying to do things differently from how they normally do things. This can be someone potentially peeling back the layers of another person and finding that what's hidden underneath is nothing like how they present themselves to be. This is someone who has great depth, the coach, the card of travel. This indicates a journey, either physical or spiritual. This is a change of scenery and clearly someone is changing up their entire lifestyle. This is a new adventure, a new beginning. This is taking things to the next level also. Someone is uncertain of the future though. They 
are afraid of what might lie around the corner for them. There is some kind of resistance, someone's turning away. Someone's not quite looking at the situation when they should be. A deep dark sea, mystery, the unknown, fear of the unknown. Again, an adventure and a long journey. This is a venture far from solid ground. This is someone trying to maintain control, yet feeling that they have none. This is someone having to go with the flow, take a chance, take a risk. Someone could be moving home. Someone could be traveling to a foreign land or someone could be from a foreign land. This is a profound change in someone's environment. Someone is willing to take the risk and to embark upon a very long journey. This feels physical. Somebody could be wishing to travel to see you, Sag, or you them. The deep dark sea can indicate dark mysteries, unknowns, uncertainties. Feeling afraid, but taking on the journey anyway. What else for Sag? This is the faithful friend, but it came out in reverse. This is a card of companionship. Normally, it's about unconditional love. It's someone who will not criticize another and loyalty. It came out in reverse. So someone feels betrayed. Someone feels defeated. Someone feels that they trusted in the wrong one. Someone feels that they need to hide their depression. Someone's afraid that information could well be used against them. Someone doesn't know who to trust. The campfire. A card of community also in the reverse. Normally it's a warm welcome, a cleansing, rebirth, bonding, two people bonding with each other. In reverse it's someone who feels like an outcast, someone who feels different, either from their friends, society as a whole, or someone who has perhaps been pushed out of their family. Someone who is the black sheep. Someone who thinks and feels a lot differently from their peers. And who feels that they'll never be accepted because of prior rejections. The owl. This is a card of wisdom. This is wise advice being received from the universe. This is spiritual messages. It's confidence and having confidence in a decision. This can indicate a welcome message. And with the skull and the snake, it's a welcome message of change. The key and the lock. This is a barrier to be opened and it is freedom or security. This can indicate possessiveness. If you find the key, the door will yield. There are opportunities that are opening up here for an individual. But first they must take that risk into the unknown, which requires leaving behind everything that they know currently and starting again, starting a new life. There is the energy of an individual who is feeling possessive over another. The card of ideals with the wedding cake. This is all about a dream coming true, a happy ever after. This is perfection attained. Someone achieving perfection in everything that they do. 
someone giving themselves a chance to be happy, taking a risk on happiness, taking a risk on love. What else for Sag? The snuffer in reverse. This can indicate something coming back round. An opportunity, a person. The engagement ring in reverse. The engagement ring in reverse is non-committal energy. I feel that this is past, past energy. A past situation that was disappointing is coming back round for a second try. And the poison pen in reverse. A hidden source of ill intent, but it isn't hidden because it's reverse. There is a not so subtle enemy in this energy who perhaps split you and another. Or came between yourself and another. The peephole, also in reverse. This is a watchful eye behind a wall. This is hidden or unwanted attention. This is being under surveillance or feeling detached from events. In reverse, this is someone getting caught. Someone getting caught snooping in your business. Getting caught red-handed, snooping. This can indicate somebody telling on themselves, somehow. And the architect also in reverse. This is a card of purpose, usually. It is order imposed, order restored. This can be restitution and the universe speaking. But in reverse, this is someone not trusting in their intuition. Someone doesn't realize that they are the architect of their own life. I'm feeling this energy as someone blaming you for a situation turning sour, Sagittarius. Who is in Sagittarius's love energies? Why are they there? What actions will they take towards Sagittarius? And what is your guidance, please? The Six of Coins. Taurus energy. The Six of Wands in reverse. It's Leo energy. The individual in your love energies was a taker, not a giver. This is someone who drained you financially, energetically, and emotionally. This is someone who you felt was ignoring you. The Six of Wands in reverse it is not victorious. This is someone who you shared your success with, who, who you tried to build more success with, but there, there's this feeling of ungratefulness with the six of wands in reverse. This person was not grateful. The Knight of Swords in the Y. Why is this person in your energy? Because they're feeling competitive. They're feeling brave. 
This person thinks that they can somehow win you back. This person is currently orchestrating some kind of drama or dramatic event in the hope that they can drag you into this dramatic occasion. This is a struggle. This is arguments, competition, tension. This is trials of strength also. This individual thinks that you're not going to be able to resist them. What are their actions towards Sag? The lovers. A promise of a union. A promise of a celebration. A promise that they're now motivated and that they will take action. Someone from your past returns, Sagittarius, Eight of Cups in reverse. This indicates that there is likely to be temporary success, but it will only always ever be temporary. This is a drifter. This is someone who is very withdrawn, emotionally numb, or made you emotionally numb towards them. Their actions towards you are very fleeting. What guidance do you have for Sarge, please? Thank you. The two of wands in reverse. Spirit's telling you that this connection is unrealistic. It is only filled with sadness. It would be wise for you to withdraw the two of wands in reverse. Guidance for Saj, please. Thank you. Judgment. Your guidance is for you to make the final judgment call. With Ace of Swords, it asks for you to say what you mean and mean what you say. And don't go back on your word. This is answering the call to new opportunities, especially with the Ace of Swords. This is keep moving forwards. This is a self-assessment that is required. This is living your true life purpose with logic and power. Your Ace of Swords is clarity. It is a breakthrough. Be clear in your communication, Saj. The Seven of Wands. This indicates that there are certain challenges ahead, but it's nothing that you're not going to be able to handle. This is you overcoming the adversity that is in front of you. This can indicate competition. This is a warning that potentially another individual is trying to gain an advantage over you. If they reel you back in again, then you'll feel less inclined to begin this brand new journey of yours or to begin a brand new relationship. This is the energy of someone trying to trick you or trap you into a dead-end situation. This is being led up the garden path. Your advice is to persevere and mount a defence. What else for Sarge, please? Someone is ashamed of how they treated you. Or they're telling you that they're ashamed of how they treated you. Of how they disrespected you. Took you for granted.
This is someone saying that they wish that they could take it all back. And how they can see themselves with you in the future. Someone's filled with regrets. This is a clear decision, Sag, between someone from old and someone new. This is someone trying to reignite that spark with you because they can feel that you're pulling away on your energy. Take a deep breath and let your fucks go. Who needs to give one when you can release them all? Yeah. Their regrets is not your problem. Take a hint from a sloth and slow the fuck down. And awaken to tiny beautiful things at every fucking turn. Embrace your tiny inner Buddha. Mm-hmm. So slow down, Saj. Don't make any decision through haste. Think through your decision carefully. There's a message of crystal healing, crystal protection also. Positive affirmation for Saj, please. Your positive affirmation is not to compare yourself to others. I don't compare myself to others because I'm not meant to be a copy of anyone else. I was born to be me, an original and one of a kind, and I am happy to be me. Someone might have tried to turn you into a version of who they thought you should be. And they didn't take kindly to you pushing that ideal away. You stood up for your rights, Saj. You stood up for yourself and you need to continue to do so. So that is what I have for you. I just genuinely hope that that reading has been helpful for somebody. If you feel that you need a personal reading, then I am taking bookings on my website, which is phoenixkiatarot.com. The link for that is in my description box below. Don't forget to go check out all of your other signs and the daily reads as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.